Hey everybody. How's everybody doing tonight? Hopefully you guys had a nice day. Uh, weekend's coming up. Everybody loves that. Uh, so, uh, I'm assuming chat is quiet because we're all... Uh, oh, hey, golf. Uh, I'm assuming we're all uh, still in mourning for uh, the for uh, Chiaki and uh, Monami. Hey, Duncan. Hey, uh, Wada. Yeah, well, you know what, I'm just trying to address everybody. Uh, so, uh, so last last night, or last time, as we all know, we had the terrible, terrible fucking uh, execution of both Monami and Chiaki, who was revealed as the traitor, but not the betrayer. Even though she was a traitor, she never betrayed us. Uh, and that's it, and now we're just left uh, with picking up the pieces. So I guess we'll start with that. Even until the very end, I couldn't look away from Chiaki's final moments. Without realizing it, I had fallen to my knees. A feeling of powerlessness spread, spread throughout my body. It's over. It just had to end. Before I could ask what I needed to ask. Before I could say what I needed to say. Chiaki vanished before my eyes. And I couldn't even tell her, thank you. If I had said that, would she have been comforted a little? As she was executed as the traitor, would she have been comforted a little? I don't know. My chest just hurt. I don't believe it! Good gracious! That was such a big surprise! Yep, you're right, Backcountry. If only someone hadn't uh, voted in the polls for uh, Nagido and Kazuichi, maybe you would have spent more time with her. As for Chiaki, she regularly took on the role of point man during the class trials, as did Nagito too. What? And not only was she the traitor, she was Nagito's killer too! Phew. Oh well, don't worry about it. There won't be any more situations where you'll need to rely on them. Huh? Wait, th does that mean... Hmm... Now that the annoying rabbit is gone as well, all of the obstacles that have been keeping us stuck on this island are completely gone! Hey! Uh, are you serious? We can really leave this island? I shall now present! Yep! Congratulations! With this, I shall announce the end of the killing school trip! For you five who've survived up till now, I shall give you the right to graduate! <sighs> Thank you for all your hard work! Are... are you really okay with that? Hmm? What do you mean? There are still two days left. If you were acting like your usual self, you would be setting things up so another killing happens right away. <sighs> You're right. <laughs> Stop it! What are you saying? What if Mr. Monokuma changes his mind? Also, you said you five like you're emphasizing that part. Does the number- I agree, uh, Magic Carp. Does the number of people matter more than the remaining time? Uh, no problem. Bats, Magic Carp, whatever. That's why you're saying it's the end already, even though there are still two days left, right? Huh? It matters that there are five people left. <sighs> are you planning to make a volleyball team? Stupid fool! You need six people for volleyball, brother! Don't stay quiet, say something! What's your actual purpose? You're an enemy and an enemy of the Future Foundation. So what's your true identity? Hey, um... 
If the Fiji Foundation is the world ender, then I will end the new world that the Fiji Foundation has created! Huh? No, no! Well, you'll just have to look forward to the rest after the countdown ends! <laughs> that timer has almost reached zero! If it reaches zero, everything will end! The Future Foundation's lame plan will be nothing but toilet bubbles! Hey! I think um... what he's saying, uh, Magic Harp, is that he can uh, end the same world as many times as it feels like. And when that, that time comes, you'll know everything! You'll see all of your questions answered in one go! And then, you guys will find out for yourselves just how messed up this new world is! Hey, hey! Huh? A new world? Don't go sing you shit all of a sudden! Yep! Well, just think of the remaining two days until the countdown reaches zero as... a bonus! Like the Great Strawberry Tower? No, no, no. I think we're done with that. I hope so. <laughs> While you're at it, you should enjoy your life on this tropical island to the fullest! Cause once you leave this island... Ching. Your hopeless lives back home will be waiting for you! <laughs> Again. Monokuma's boisterous laughter carried on for what felt like forever. Our questions, our worries, our sadness were simply ignored. The laughter just kept going. Forever. As for what we did afterwards, honestly, it doesn't matter at all. Can't believe I missed one of Monokuma doll, the last chapter. I thought I looked everywhere. I returned to my cottage for the time being and fell asleep. Yeah, you're good at that, Hajime. Just falling asleep when everything uh, goes to shit. Even after I woke up, my will to move my body didn't come back. That's why. I didn't look back on everything that happened up till now. I didn't think about what was going to happen. I just kept praying that nothing else would happen. Oh, hey, Rajit. Yep, just in time. And burrowed deep into my sheets, as if I were trying to hide. In doing so, I was somehow trying to endure the long day. That's it, really? He's just, again, he's the best at wasting time. And then, the sun finally set. The day feels abnormally long when you spend it praying that nothing happens. Which reminds me, I haven't heard Monokuma's announcement. I guess that isn't needed anymore. Is everything really going to end? What is everything anyway? How far, how much is everything? If we leave this island, is everything going to end? There's still so much we don't know. About our school memories, the Future Foundation, Hope Speak Academy, Monokuma's true purpose. Hey, Lieutenant. <clears throat> Good to see you. Uh, I'm nearing the end. I am I think there are six chapters and, um, and an epilogue. And right now I'm at the end of the fifth chapter. So pretty, pretty much towards the end, I think. Can we really end this and turn our back on all that? Like, the trials are over, uh, everyone who's died is supposed to have died already, stuff like that. But obviously, there's still more trouble about. And not just that, if we're really leaving, then where are we going? To Hope's Peak Academy? Yeah, go back to sleep. That was... My last night at Jabberwock Island. This is the fan service chapter. Just, just boobs and ass everywhere. We were his main character here. 
Oh, hey, Makoto. We were just talking about your last stream. How are you doing? Ultimate hope. Sleep fetishes chapter, pretty much. Uh, at a place where my worries didn't even matter, everything was about to end. Nine hours left, huh? I feel like I had a fun dream, somehow. I think it was about my childhood. Because of that, I was able to face the day with a somewhat happier feeling than usual. What, because you had a nice dream? You can wake up and, like, face the day? Jesus. That's right. It's the last day. According to Monokuma. Suddenly, my body shuddered. Right when I opened my eyes, I was gripped by a fear that I had never felt before. A fear like I had been abandoned in this world. Completely, utterly alone. With nobody left on this island. Kazuichi, Fuyuhiko, Akane, Sonia. Like everyone was gone and I couldn't find them anywhere. I suddenly couldn't believe in anything. Like everything in this world was nothing but lies. Ah! I rushed out of the cottage, desperate to escape that fear. I rushed out of the cottage, desperate to escape that fear. I rushed out of the cottage, desperate to escape that fear. I rushed out God Fred fear. I just Oh no. Did the world end? Did the world just end? When I left the cottage, I randomly ran into her. Hello there. Oh, Hachime, good timing. Good timing? What do you mean? I think the world is ending. Of course the PC port had to break. See? Remember Nagido's video message that we found at the factory? Yeah, when we were dealing with the bomb ruckus. What about it? Well... Apparently there was more to that message inside that laptop. Huh? Yep. We weren't able to see it until late, until a day or so had passed. Apparently it was locked by a timer. Hmm. Did he set it up so we couldn't be able to watch it until after the class trial? Why would he do that? Perhaps. Maybe. Nagido planned to leave this as a will. Nagido's will? Where is it right now? Um, we were just planning to meet at the restaurant and watch it together. Got it. The restaurant. Okay. Well, this is definitely weird, but I'll go along with it. Right. Oh, I should check on the pet though, I don't want it to die. It's all clean. I really don't think we'll have time to evolve though until we finish the game. I don't think there's gonna be that much walking. Oh, wait, where's my Yo! Hey, you're late! Is it true? Nagita really left another message? Kneel before Miss Sonia and thank her! She was the one who found it! <laughs> I was going for a walk with Gundam's hamster, and I found it when I stopped by the factory. See, you know this is a dream or a fantasy sequence because uh, in reality they would never uh, give us the, the closure of Sonia taking care of uh, Gundam's hamsters. Might just want to do some laps around the pool or something. I guess I could. If, if we'll get another chance, I guess I could just walk around a bit more just to upgrade it. Listen well. Well, here. There we go. <laughs> A coincidence, you say? Wrong. That is the will of causality guiding you. Huh? Why would Miss Sonia be going for a walk with Gundam? I never allowed that. Damn right. So, anyway, let's hurry up and play it. 
Yeah, you're right. Well, again, Gogolf, as I checked, and there's supposed to be, I think, ch six chapters in an epilogue, and technically, the fifth chapter hasn't ended yet. Like, we haven't seen the title of, like, uh, fifth chapter ending or whatever. So I don't think we're that close to the end, but probably, like, the, the final act is about to start. I wonder who's watching this message. Is it the traitor from the Fiji Foundation? Why would I check? Because I I have streams planned, Lieutenant, and I need to be prepared. I didn't I, I, I made sure I didn't see any spoilers or anything. But I got streams planned, uh, so I gotta I gotta make sure. I gotta get the next game prepared and shit like that, you know. It's just stuff I gotta do. If so, congratulations! It looks like it ended the way I hoped it would. Ended the way he hoped it would. Naga was trying to kill everyone except the traitor. Damn it. It was just as Monokuma said. Hey, hey. So he really set up the traitor as the killer? And he even tried to make them survive the trial? Yeah, I know, Lieutenant, but it just, I felt like I had to take that risk. I got lucky, but this game was Metal Gear Solid. Well, not necessarily, Google. If I checked the poll again last night, it's a, in, uh, it was a tie between Metal Gear and uh, Police Knots. Uh, both, uh, interestingly enough, were made by Kojima. Uh, but well, I would love to play either game, so I don't know, it's up to you guys. You can uh, keep voting on the poll. Or suggest a new game, whatever you guys want. Ultimate luck, exactly. Magic Harp. But why would he do that? <laughs> enough with your useless talk. It appears there's still more. But if everyone but the traitor is watching this video... How unfortunate. Then, unfortunately, I guess I lost. That outcome is the complete opposite of the hope I believe in. Well, not that it matters for me anymore. I mean, no matter what the outcome is, it doesn't matter for a dropout like me. Now then. Let's put this meaningless introduction aside and get down to business. Since I don't know who I'm talking to, I'm going to speak so that both sides will understand. First of all, you might be wondering why I did what I did. Well, I just took action after talking about it for so long. The special prize in the final dead room allowed me to learn a certain truth. It would be troublesome if everyone found out. So, I already disposed of that page. But anyway, I, I was totally surprised. I mean... <laughs> the Future Foundation's traitor must have known that truth all along. And so, I was able to learn the truth about this world and resolve to, act and resolve to take action immediately. Hey... Po po p p o five four four. Hi. Omri and Elamar, his little brother. Okay, cool. How are you guys enjoying this? Uh, I shouldn't make fun of Hajime. Deep down, I always wanted to become a protagonist myself. <laughs> yeah, everything is falling apart here. But now that I know that truth, is a look back on Monokuma's actions. I'm starting to see what he's planning. By giving us information about the island's mystery and the future foundation, he's raising all your hopes. Do you realize? Well, again, Magikarp. I think this is like a fantasy or dream sequence, just to fuck with, uh, with the players. So I'm not giving it too much importance, you know, like when characters reappear and shit. But only so he can lead you to unimaginable despair. <laughs> Plus, Monokuma's trying to show that despair to someone. Perhaps that someone is. <laughs> Jeez, what a hopeless truth. Who 
Who is Monokuma's true identity? How could they come up with a plan like that? Now then. But that's enough reflecting on the past. Let's talk about the future now. If you want to escape Monokuma's plan, there's a specific place you need to go to. The key to enter that place is that message you found at Nizumi Castle. Yeah, we all remember that. Well... Normally, you need to follow a bunch of steps to enter that place. But since that message gets rid of those steps, you can think of it as an easter egg or something. It was probably left by someone other than Monokuma or Monami. But that has nothing to do with me. <laughs> this until the, my plan came to an end, but I guess now's a, little, a nice time to announce it, right? So then, I'll announce the password. 11037 Do I play CSGO? No, I was actually just uh, having a discussion with someone about uh, a couple days ago. I never really got the appeal of uh, CSGO. Uh, I, I might trade, like, Next time on Steam, there's like a free weekend or something, I guess I might uh, try it. But I never really got the appeal of CSGO. I really like better like class-based game like Team Fortress 2 or uh, Overwatch. That is the password that was written in Zumi Castle. How do we know though? I guess we can try. CSGO is very much like Pokemon Go. Oh, okay. Then I might like it. Just harmless fun, yeah. That to enter that specific place. That's the only way you can escape Monokuma. I feel like I've been talking forever, but that's all for me. With this, my duty is finished. I believe my actions will become the foundation of this world's hope. And if that really happens, praise me. Praise. Tell Arthur's what I've accomplished. Erect a bronze statue of me. What, like, uh. Sakura that we saw earlier in the funhouse? Can you slap that person through the internet? Well, it's, it's backcountry, Simeon, so, uh. He might be closer in the internet than you might think. Respect me. Please call me the ultimate hope. This really doesn't sound like Nagido. So I guess we'll go with that code, but I really, really don't, like, get how this is relevant. This was Nagido's final message. Um, um, that 11037 number that Nagido said was the password. Oh, I don't remember what voice I gave her. Fine. There's no mistaking it. That's the password to enter that ancient ruin. Right, let's go. I guess we're going then. Reset. Now's not the time to relax. I need to hurry to the ancient ruin to on the second island. Oh, are we teleporting? What? Which island am I on right now? Oh, I'm already on the second island. Cool. So I guess as. Slap your face. Um, I'll save just in case, but I guess uh, we wanted the to upgrade the little pet. Oh. Uh, so let's do that right now. Hopefully it'll be as quick as we can. And I guess we can look around and see- Oh, it doesn't even say the location this time. I wonder if we can even go to different locations. Or do we have to go- it's not the time to investigate this thing. I need to hurry over to the ancient ruin. Yeah, fuck that. I check on the pet every once in a while just to see it doesn't die. This quap run animation. Yeah, animations aren't very uh, progressive in this game. I buy this game at a garage sale for a mother who lost her son. Of course. 
I bought this game at a GameStop that's uh, built on an ancient uh, Indian burial ground, actually. I don't know if that will have uh, any effect on it at all. No, that's what I wanted. The pet. 30 steps till the cocoon. I think the cocoon is just 100 steps then. And can't even poop in the cocoon, so we're all good. There we go. Either died or. What's it gonna be? Well, we'll have to see. Uh, we'll see, and that'll be the last cheap beam we'll probably we'll have in this game, definitely. Are there game stops that are not bur bur built on burial grounds? I guess you're right. I guess it would be more odd to have a decent to buy it at a decent game stop. Getting close during the marathon here. I might as well just stay close to the ancient ruin for now. I wonder if this is actually a fantasy sequence or is like. The... Or is the game gonna find some way to make it work somehow? Oh, we got a little shitty me! Isn't it adorable? Look at that! A little shitty me. Should I give it a, it a present? I'm not sure. I got all these presents. It is beautiful art, isn't it? My own little shitty me. Okay, well, I'm, I'm definitely happy we did that. That was definitely worth uh, the wait. Well, how can you not love the shitty me? Oh, look, the sky is back to normal. Um. S somehow, it is quite nerve wracking. Poo yeah. and is it really safe to go inside? What's gonna be in there? You are a boy, right? Is it what happens when you don't do that? It becomes <laughs> shitty me. It's so unreliable to be freaked out like that. You're a man, aren't you? There's also that count, our brother! There's no time to stand around! I'm gonna do it! Damn right! It's our last chance to get inside! <laughs> from the thrills, the chills, the kills. Thanks. Ah, uh, if you're gonna let it out, then why not do it in the Tupperware I keep with me? There's a Smilali, she'll probably uh, get here soon enough, Magic Car. It's your lucky day, I guess. Hey, now's not the time to fuck around! Master for you, Hiko. Shit, I don't remember her voice. I really don't remember everybody's voice right now. It's kind of a surprise right now. The yeah. hell? Don't treat me like a kid. This is your leader's order. Believe that hope lies beyond this point. That is your leader's order. <laughs> I'm not doing this. What? What was that? <laughs> I don't remember her voice either. I told you that you only understand piggy talk. <laughs> I said, you're so cool in piggy talk! In the name of my family, I'm going to kill you. Hajime. The password, please. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oink, yeah, oink boys. Oink girls. But there aren't even num- Oh, I guess we can press that. 11037. It's gonna be Wait. fine. There's no need for you to worry. The only thing beyond this point is a shining future. Now then, let's open the door to the future. And before Hajime is in uh, inside the Animus all along, and he just and uh, and this is like the future people from the future, the the Templar is trying to to know the future of Hope Speak Academy through his past lives. Really? Well, I, I'm assuming this is still a dream, so it doesn't really matter. Beyond this door, the future is waiting. A sparkling future. Now then, 
Let's move forward. Obviously, Assassin's Creed 69. Yep. And this is the old classroom. Uh, the old uh, trial room from the first game. But again, is this actually happening or not? We can't even know. Is this a trial ground? But why am I at a trial ground? It sure looks like a trial ground, but the vibe is way different than the one from before. Was this directed? Yes, actually, uh, Magic Carp. This this game uh, was written and directed and produced by uh, David Lynch. Um, by the way. Huh? Um, where did everyone go? Hmm? Everyone? What? Something's wrong? What did I do? No, that's not it. I'm not the weird one. What's really weird is... This... world? What? So the timer came to an end, and we were just dreaming while we were doing that? How do you may want to sleep again? Or is he also imagining this? I guess. The world just ended. Stage clear. There we go. Now the chapter is over. Smart hope in the name of despair. Continued right now. Gamer's backpack, of course. I am confused. Welcome to the game, Golf. <laughs> this is pretty much the game. You just get confused. Oh, chapter zero. Heading to the school trip. Oh, we got a flashback episode. That's cute. It would be wrong to say it was swaying from side to side was actually shaking rather intensely. The room I was in, it was shaking from side to side. Oh, we're 999 now. We're locked in a room on a boat. Enjoy the fucking boat sounds that last for 10 minutes. Well, it's very soothing, I think, uh, Rajit. Do you think so? I could really fall asleep. It's kind of like uh, whale noises. Whale sounds. The shaking was quite irregular, just when you thought it was a series of small shakes would suddenly shake violently, and every time that happened, I'd have to steady myself with my foot. I couldn't stand up very well, but for me, it was comforting. I never thought not knowing what to expect could be so fun, so I was feeling rather excited. But I figured I'd get, get bored of that feeling soon enough. That's what I was expecting. For me, a person who is loved by talent. Detecting regularities among ir 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 uh, detecting regularities among irregularities won't be that difficult. Ah, uh, how boring. Oh, so it's not gonna. Do you like ships? On the other side of the dark room, I heard a voice. It was clearly directed at me. Haha, <laughs> you look like you were having fun, so that's what I assumed. You do like ships, right? Ships? Ah, that's right. That's it. So this is a ship. Huh. <laughs> you just realized that now. Is it really that funny? Hey, if you want, care to talk a little? The silence was starting to bore me. Instantly, I saw his true character. The over-familiar attitude, the friendly smile. 
I'm not even sure if this is the uh, Hajime right now, but I got no better choice. But under that thin skin, I could detect a foul, offensive odor, like some kind of putrid slime. In a sensible way, of course. It could be Byakuya too, I guess, maybe? Which is not actually Byakuya, he's the... the ultimate uh, impersonator. Or imposter. How should I put this? It was this smell exclusive to those who were already finished. Nice to meet you. I'm Nagito Komaeda. Character's eyes is immediately still in every scene of note afterwards. Yeah, well, what can I say? Anyway, lucky me. Oh, see what they did there? Lucky him. Ultimate lucky student. It's been a while since anyone was willing to talk to me, so to share a room with a person like that... Yep, I'm definitely lucky. Lucky? Ah, so that's your talent then. What a boring talent. A boring talent, huh? Well, that's exactly what it is. Well lucked. Thanks, Sim. For someone I'm meeting for the first time to say that so suddenly... That's because I have luck as well. Oh, maybe we're doing Makoto? Huh? Even I possess a talent as boring as luck. Oh, so it's Makoto we're playing right now? It's kind of uh, amusing because I think I gave uh, Hajime and Makoto pretty much the same voice. P possess, huh? I'm starting to get really interested. Who are you? You're obviously from Hope Speak Academy too, right? So, you're one of us? Ah, uh, that's weird. This is the first time I've ever seen you. Hey, can you tell me why you're here? How did you end up here? How boring. Ah, uh, sorry. I'm often told I'm terrible at making conversation. Not you. This world. Huh? This world is full of boring people. I'm get my guess is it's either Makoto or uh, the, imperson the ultimate uh, imposter. People who lack talent stick together and oppress those who do possess talent. Even though they know they're insignificant, they don't try to acknowledge their true superiors. They are profoundly desperate to drag them down to their level. Because of these bastards, this world has come to a deadlock. This world is top evolving. How boring. Well, the world is shaped by the will of the majority. It makes sense that it bends to those who lack talent. That's why we're in our present situation. Uh, perhaps, does that have anything to do with the reason you're here? Boring people make no contributions to the world. Not even a speck of dust. Well, this is obviously not Hajime by now, so uh, I guess I'll give it my regular voice for now. That's why my teachers taught me that a certain degree of selection must be performed. Looks like they looks like they had high expectations of you, huh? That's completely different from me. But what are you planning to do? Now you've ended up like this. Now that you've ended up like this, there's nothing you can do, right? Listen well. Using people as a talent, too. It is now my turn to use that person, just as they used me in the past. That person? Oh. So maybe it is the imposter? Are you talking about the ultimate despair? But how? I mean, they're already. I have it with me. The contribution that person left to me. Even now, it rests in my pocket. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm definitely lucky. I can't believe I'm speaking with someone as amazing as you. Then, will I be able to see her again? What's with the nails? This scene is actually super important for the anime. Well, yeah, just this, I guess. Is really important. Is Nagido the? No, she can't be the lover, the true love of uh, of Mikan. 
because she wouldn't remember it. Will I be able to see the person I hate with every fiber of my being again? Oh, maybe he's talking about her? About uh, Junko? The ultimate despair, and he's the ultimate uh, hope, or at least he wants to be. In this time? Will I be able to kill her this time? The person I hate so much? Hate? Then explain your hand. Ah, uh, this? The end of that bandage is a woman's hand, right? <laughs> Isn't it amazing? I can't move it, of course. I mean, it's not my hand after all. But even now, it still hasn't rotted. Hey, maybe that means it's becoming one with me. Isn't it amazing? I have successfully become one with the ultimate despair, my sworn enemy. Or maybe it's supposed to be Junko's twin sister, the one who died? I see. So you salvaged the body. You really are a boring person. Ah, uh, I don't want you to misunderstand. I just see her as my enemy, you know? Because she's my sworn enemy. Because I hate her so much. That's why I took her power. And for that I... Wait, huh? Do I... Hate her? Huh, that's strange. I totally, Simeon, I agree. Ah, look out the window! We're finally here! You're starting to see it too, right? That's Jabberwock Island, isn't it? Isn't it exciting? I wonder what's going to happen on that island once we get there. What's going to happen? I can already predict what will happen. Huh? I already know because I am loved by talent. But no matter what happens, it's of no concern. Oh, sorry. But no matter what happens, it's of no concern to me. I will not be able to participate in what lies ahead. Hmm. Really? I don't really understand, but... I guess we have to part ways for a while. That's disappointing. We seem to get along pretty well. Hey, can I see you again? There's no reason we'll ever meet again. After all, are boring. Your talent, your thoughts, your entire existence is to me. You really don't play along, do you? Okay, so as usual, a scene that means nothing, but with the anime it might be super important. So we're done with chapter zero. Uh, and it's utter bullshit, it meant nothing. I guess we're back to Hajime now. Maybe he woke up from that whatever fantasy sequence he was in. Huh? What is this? Didn't this happen at the end of the last game too or something similar? I don't remember. I really don't remember. I wish we had like... Is Suika here? Or is someone who played the game? Oh, Wada! What the fu- Wada, was this? Is this all like a reference to the first game in a way? There's a door. Huh? A door? Why is a door here? Where am I? How did I get here? Well, are you disagreeing with me, Sim? Just play a little more? Okay, I trust you. The ultimate despair. Where am I supposed to go? Or maybe this is when he entered... I don't remember. But it feels familiar, that scene. And that's when he got to Hope Speak Academy, maybe? Is this another sort of flashback? No, but the the class is okay. This is definitely before uh, the 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 Armageddon or whatever. Because remember, the classes look different. Like every class had some reference to Monokuma or something, and there there definitely wasn't a class with a violin written in it. Huh? 
isn't this a classroom? But even so, it's a very strange classroom. Why am I in a place like this? That scene happened at the start of this. Oh yeah, so I knew it was it felt familiar. Thanks, Richie. I went inside the ancient ruin with everyone else. Or did you? And I arrived at a place that looked like a trial ground. But then, why? It's not connecting. Truth, most most truthful thing uh, ever said in this game. I don't know why I'm here. It's like there's no connection between how I left the trial ground and how I ended up here. It's just like before. When we were all gathering in that classroom just before we arrived at Jabberwock Island. But where is this place? Is Hajime maybe just like starting to get over his amnesia? That's what's sort of happening right now? His memories are getting confused. I'm just like, I'm really trying hard to find an explanation for this game. Is it somewhere on Jabberwock Island? Ahem. Testing, testing. Mic check one, two. This is a test of the school broadcast system. Am I on? Can everyone hear me? Okay, well then. Welcome to Hope Speak Academy, you guys. At this point, I shall explain the graduation exam to you all. So please assemble at the gymnasium immediately. I just keep playing. I don't know if this is actually even happening or not. I mean, knowing this game probably happens in some sense of the word happening, but I don't know how exactly. Huh? Did he say what I think he just said? Yes, he definitely said it. He said, welcome to Hope Speak Academy. B but why would this place be Hope Speak Academy? And not just that. What is the graduation exam? Isn't the killing over already? Oh, hey, I'm on a Kuma doll. Didn't think there would be one here too. No. Oh, it's cute. It's like a pixelized Monokuma doll too. And I get more Monokuma coins, for which there will be absolutely no use. I guess there's no use in looking at anything here, really. Do I still have my pet and everything? I don't have a map though, of course. Shitty me! Leave here, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a pretty solid head cannon right there, Simeon. Even the hallway doesn't feel like a school at all. What a creepy place. At least, it doesn't look like a normal school at all. It's definitely a lie. There's no way this place. Is Hope Speak Academy? Is this creepy place the Hope Speak Academy that I've admired for so long? It's probably a building that Monokuma made to startle us, just like the Fun House. That's right, that's definitely it. Monokuma said to come to the gymnasium, right? Then I'll go and definitely, sorry, clear things up. Okay, let's look at this. This pair hotel. Is that what it was called in the first game too? It was something hotel, I think, but I don't remember what. There's nothing to... Ooh, what was that? Didn't I... Get, like... Didn't I trigger something here? Maybe it was a sign? Oh, A1A. That's just the classroom. Okay. Can't go in here. This was the AV room, right? It's kind of fitting. Yeah, it's kind of fitting that it would have uh, an Egyptian hieroglyph on it. Store, can't buy shit. Exit, that's, yeah, right, that's uh, the entrance, the exit. Everything is locked, this was the nurse's room. I had to die. Ooh! Can shitting me actually die though? From shitting, or is it like, does it, does he feed on it or something? Can't go up. The gymnasium 
is here, right? Alright, I'm going inside. He, it, whatever. Something might be waiting. But I'm not going to cower away anymore. And so, I raised myself and cautiously opened the door. Chapter 6. This is the end. Goodbye, Academy of Despair. I wasn't prepared for what was waiting for me on the other side of that door. I think this is like one of the most repeated lines in this in the series. Except maybe, and then it happened. All the memories from this terrible place. It was a normal gymnasium. Damn right. Yo, Hajime. Yo. You heard the announcement and came here too? You guys did too. Right? What's going on? Hey, what do you make of all this? Monokuma said this place was Hope Speak Academy or something? That is. Th that cannot be possible. Well, yeah. You're right. Any way you look at it, it's impossible. <laughs> Hello! How does it feel to return to the long awaited Hope Speak Academy? Hey, where are we? Where'd you lock us up this time? Wh what a shock! I just told you guys this is Hope Speak Academy! Of course not! There's no way in hell that's true! No, no! Oh, but it is! I mean, this is definitely Hope Speak Academy! Well, what's left of it anyway? What's left of it? Wah -wah? Didn't I tell you before? Unfortunately, Hope Speak Academy fell to ruin. Lies. You were serious about that? Fool. I don't believe it, brother. Hmm. But of course it fell to ruin. I mean, they were doing things that they deserved to be ruined for. What do you mean? I don't like this. Anyway, I'm pretty disappointed. I went to all this trouble to bring you to Hope Speak Academy, and you don't feel surprised or nostalgic. Fine, fine. Oh well, it's not like I did this for you guys. <laughs> Even if you don't feel nostalgic, I'm sure someone is feeling nostalgic right now. Someone? Don't fuck with me. Enough with this bullshit. Just spit it out already. Which take us, you bastard! Though I am not certain of my memories, I believe we entered the ancient ruin and. In other words, it means. I made this Hope Speak Academy between the door to the ruin and the inside of that of the ruin! What? Made this Hope Speak Academy between the door to the ruin and the inside. What? <sighs> what do you mean between? Hey, hey, hey. What do you mean made? What's this? Oh my! Are your minds getting the grumblies that only knowledge can satisfy? <laughs> good! Very good! It's fine to hurry along to the graduation exam, but it's in my nature to provide a little entertainment. You're planning to make us do something, aren't you? No way! It's nothing to be so cautious about. It's not like you'll be making life changes or life exchanges or anything like that. Sure. It's just a simple graduation exam. Huh? Then, what is the graduation exam? Hey, um... Well, as the headmaster, I'm conflicted, you know. What's that? If you open the next door, it just says... And just people clapping, telling congratulations, and won't even be surprised. I don't think anything would surprise me right now, Simeon. On one hand, I'm really happy that you're finally going to graduate. Are you sure about this? But on the other hand, I'm worried about whether you guys will be okay in the outside world. So... That's why I'm thinking. 
thinking about telling you what the outside world is like before you make a decision. Yeah, this is a bit similar to the first game, I guess. Whether you want to leave Jabberwock Island or stay here. Huh? We're obviously gonna get out. There's no way we'd stay here. This is annoying. Just hurry up and let us choose. Let us choose right now. No, no, no. You can't do that. The main cast hasn't arrived yet. Uh, main cast? Hey, um... Meaning, you guys are just extras until the guest of honor arrives. Yeah. So enough complaining already. Hurry up and start researching the outside world. What do you mean? Uh -huh. I have dispersed all the teaching materials you need for your, your research throughout Hope Speak Academy. Well, I don't think this needs to be said, but... <laughs> all the information is accurate and contains no lies whatsoever. Otherwise, the main cast is gonna hate me. <laughs> so, please rest assured and strive to do your best during your field trip. And as usual, after leaving us with his cryptic words, Monokuma disappeared. Even if the setting had changed, even if the killing was finished, he was still the same as usual. Um... What is going on? Outside world? Main cast? Somehow, I have a bad feeling about this. Hey, hey! Like, he kept insisting that this place is Homespeak Academy. That's impossible, right? What are you saying? How'd we make it back to Hope's Peak Academy from a tropical island in the first place? It's impossible. It cannot be. Again, I thought a bunch of times that maybe Hope's Peak Academy was actually on Jabberwock Island, since we can't know for sure uh, from the end of the first game or anything that we've been told up until now. And then the ancient warrior really could be Hope's Peak Academy. But what's up with all the. Like, I still don't get what's up with all the pixelization and the blocked doors and stuff only thing I can think of is either a really really long fantasy um, fantasy uh, sequence or this is sort of like they're under the influence of drugs or something so this is happening but they're not really uh, perceiving it right I guess or uh, magic which is something this game has referenced a lot compared to the first one and that's it I keep, I'm gonna keep playing magic car but just wanna you know give my two cents there is no place for Hope Speak Academy to exist on Jabberwock Island. I said I wanted to go back, but I don't want to go back to a creepy place like this. You idiot, Kazuichi. What does this mean? So many things I don't understand have happened on the island. This building is really Hope Speak Academy? This is the Hope Speak Academy I've been admiring for so long. What in the world is going on? Damn it. Why is this happening? Why? I was finally able to attend Hope Speak Academy. I finally thought I'd become confident in myself. Even so, I wanted to become Hope. If that's what you're thinking, just stop it! Listen carefully. The only humans worthy of becoming Hope possess amazing talents and a strong will. And the moment you're born into this world, you either have that or you don't. It has nothing to do with effort. You must be chosen by Hope to become Hope. That's why it's not even worth admiring. Or were you so blinded by your admiration for Hope Speak Academy that you couldn't even see that? Gah. You're just some some nobody from the reserve course who never had a talent to begin with. A nobody who forgot he was a nobody. That's all. If I really am a nobody, then you should have just left me alone. Why? Why do I have to go through something like this? Um... Hajime? Did something happen? 
Huh? Hey, bastard! Now's not the time to zone out! Sorry, it, it's nothing. Um... I don't really get it, but... Is that all? I'm gonna do it! As long as I don't beat the crap out of Monokuma, nothing's gonna be solved. Is that what it means? Hey! Just what the heck is Monokuma anyway? He's not part of the Future Foundation, right? Um... If you say that, then what is the Future Foundation? Jeez. Even though Chiaki and Monami are gone, the situation hasn't changed one bit. Which means... The Future Foundation wasn't our enemy. That's the only thing I can think of. You serious? So... They're not World Ender? Then... We really were tricked by Monokuma? However... The Future Foundation is responsible for trapping us on this island, right? Regarding that matter, I believe Monami never once denied that. Damn it. Even if there are allies, they might not just be allies. What? They might not just be allies. Maybe Monokuma is telling us to investigate that information on our own. Well, it's definitely possible that the, again, I said a couple of times, but the Future Foundation, assuming they're good guys, brought everybody to this island for whatever purposes, to prepare them for something, or I don't know, and then Monokuma came and hijacked the plan and ruined everything. That's a possibility. Chiaki said she could not betray the Future Foundation, but if she were still alive, she definitely would have helped us. No, even her just being with us would have been a big help. Hmm... So, what should we do? Damn it. Well, that's obvious. If we're gonna get out of here safely, we have to do that graduation exam, right? So annoying. Graduation exam, huh? I'm not really good at taking exams. Huh. Well, I guess it's better than people dying. Jeez. Monokuma said something about a field trip, right? Is he telling us to investigate like we have been? Alright! I'm gonna do it! Prepare yourself! Brother. Like... Yeah. We might be able to learn about something. About Hope Speak Academy. About ourselves. Uh, I don't care if we don't know anymore. If we can just go back to our normal lives, I'm fine. Hey! We can go home when this is over, right? We can finally get off this damn island, right? <laughs> if that's the case, let's all leave the island alive by any means. Of course! Hell yes! He's right. Now's not the time to bemoan how unlucky I am. Whether this place really is, what's happened to Hope Speak Academy? None of that matters. What's important is, I need to leave this island with the others. We sacrificed so many lives in order to survive, just so we could do that. There's no way we can stop now. But, Monokuma should already know that that's what we're thinking. So, why did he say that? We have to decide on our own whether or not we want to leave Jabberwock Island. He should already know that we'd never choose to stay, to stay on this island. Hey, hey. That's what we thought in the first game too. So what are we gonna do? Can we start already? Hmm. But, what are we even looking for? Do we just have to investigate this weird ass building? Even so... I don't think we'll find the answers to all our questions inside this damn building. <laughs> Whoa. Well, I'll just go on ahead for now. Whoa! Hey! You're already going? Jeez. Where's that idiot thinking running, running ahead without being cautious? Man... She obviously isn't thinking about anything. However... It will be fine. There will no longer be any situations where we, where we must exchange e each other's lives. Alright! So we should do our best as well. Like they say, it is not scary if everyone stops at a green light. If we stopped at the green light, we'd never reach our goal. Jeez, you're pathetic. Akane already took off on her own. It might be faster if we split up and look around, too. No, that is the worst idea. Huh. Like Sonia said, there's no more killing. We don't have to worry about anyone betraying us anymore. <laughs> then, let's get this over with and go home. Later. I'll go on ahead. See you guys later. 
but those brief words, Fuihiko, left the gymnasium. Excuse me. I shall do my best to obtain a wonderful clue that will be useful to everyone. Now then, please excuse me. Sonia took a deep bow, then left the gymnasium. Oh my. Miss Sonia! Miss Sonia! Please don't leave me! I'll be in danger if I'm left alone! Kazuichi chased after Sonia, who had just departed and left the gymnasium. I should hurry and start too. Just a bit more. Just a bit more, and it's going to end. I can escape this nightmare and return to my usual, peaceful, everyday life. The only thing we can do is advance toward that hope. Even though I don't understand, and that a lot of horrifying things keep happening. For the sake of everyone who couldn't make it this far, I'm definitely going to go home. So now we're investigating. Is this still actually happening or not? There we go, there's the one. Four. That's two out of five. Go back, I guess. Actually, there should be a room between this. There should be like a trophy room. Old building, fifth floor. Something's fucky. Well, we already know that. Haji this is happening, but Hajime is going nuts. It could be. Does this? What does that mean? That pressure got to him? Maybe. So then, do, do you mean? Well, I. There are too many options for that. Like, did the did the Nagido's video actually happen or not? Did they actually enter the place or not? The the ancient building. So far, in his brain, maybe I don't know. Maybe Hajime is just like drooling on the floor of his cottage. That's your onion. That's a valid onion, Magic Harp. Huh? That's weird. This is the hallway I walked through to get to the gymnasium, but it's clearly different. Is this what Akuma's doing too? Is he trying to confuse us again? I don't know how he's doing it, but he keeps doing it over and over again. He's so persistent. But I'm not gonna fall for this trap. There's no way this will make me back down. I wonder if we get a special ending if we like collect all the Monokuma dolls or something. This, yeah, this is uh, the floor from the first game. I, I remember it like. Um, this hallway, there is a strange feeling to it, no? As if an invisible wall has been erected to limit our movement. I am concerned. Is it just me? Okay, that was very useful, Sonya. Thank you. So I remember. I wish it was a. Wow. That shitting me is shitting at an alarming rate. The ending is the same, but everyone is naked. That would be pretty cool, actually. It was. Whoa, this is trippy. This was the bio lab, I remember. It was a very important. Uh... Evidence, peace, on this, all of these, this was an important room, that was an important room in the first game, it's like unlocking the mystery of the game, shooting me the ultimate chip poster. Pretty much, yeah, it's shooting at an, an incredible rate. Can open this, I can only enter the dojo. It was supposed to be for Sakura, but she never made it here. Are there any good uh, fan theories for this game? Is this a dojo? It's full of strange things that make me think there's no way we're inside a school. Perhaps it's a mistake to expect the inside of this building to make sense. Good job. This thing you said that makes sense. Where's that doll? Come on, it's probably between these. You can see it by yourself. This is probably the most important thing. Book. Oh yeah, this is also where we found photos from a time, original time, uh, in Most Peak Academy in the first game. This is obviously the most important thing here. Things are getting answered with the anime. 
Yeah, what about him? I'm, I'm the general, uh, like the general uh, thing that they do in this game is, is like answer questions with more questions. Like they give you answers, but they just raise more questions. So I feel like there's gonna be either. I don't think they're gonna pull it off in the end. I think either they're just not gonna answer anything and just say fuck it. That's us. Uh, that's what I think is most likely. Or it's gonna be some half-assed explanation to tie everything up nicely, like Lost. I don't think by now there's any way they're gonna wrap it up uh, normally. But this game has been bullshit all along, so maybe in a bullshit logic kind of sense it will work. I don't know. What is this? Is this a manga? The title is Manga for Morons, A History of Hope Speak Academy by Monaco. Why is a manga with such a suspicious looking title laying out in the open like this? <laughs> Let's start with history first, class! Hey, um... Reading manga is the third best way to learn about history! Then what's the first, you ask? <laughs> that depends on the person! Can I watch that, Rajit, or is it a spoiler? Oh, it's a spoiler, so I won't watch it. I can't know, I can't tell who's that smiling, or what's the background, so... So just as I thought, Monokuma made this. That totally explains how suspicious it looks. I really want to just ignore it, but there's no way I can do that. Fine, I'll look at it. I'll look at anything that might be a clue to getting out of here, no matter what it is. I picked up the manga off the floor and started flipping through the pages. It's an introduction to Hope Speak Academy's history, as narrated by the cutesy character on the cover. Okay. The story begins with an introduction to Hope Speak Academy. Hope Speak Academy is a government-funded school of privilege. Check, check the privilege. Uh, where only the most talented high school students can hope to attend. Built to raise hope in the, in the nation's future, many of its alumni are key leaders of various industries. New students are chosen through a scouting process, but the ones who scout them are Hope Speak Academy's teachers, who serve as both educators and researchers of talent. Hope Speak Academy isn't just a school for talent, it is also a school for researching talent as well. However, for the past few years, Hope Speak Academy has been suffering from a decline in funding. If this persists, the Academy believes they will not be able to make progress with their research or talent. If you're going to watch the Danganronpa, if you enemy one matter, you might want to read Danganronpa Zero. I'm considering it, uh, Lieutenant. I think I'll wait until the anime is done to know if it's worth it. Because I don't feel like getting invested in a whole other thing if it's just gonna end in more questions or without like solving anything. So I'm gonna wait for that. I was even thinking, I was talking about maybe I'll, I'll if people are interested, I could do a poll. But if people are in interested, I might even stream it on Steve Street Heroes and we could watch it together. Since I know some people are already uh, emotionally invested in this in this series anyway. If not, I could just watch it on my own, but we'll see. So they decided to implement a new system, the Reserve Department. Unlike the main department of Scouts for Students... Oh! Well, we do know that the beginning of like the whole riot and everything that led to the, the world ending started from students. So maybe it started with the Reserve Department, and maybe Hajime is the one who started it? That would be interesting. It would be a nice twist. Unlike the main department of Scouts for Students, the Reserve Department utilizes a general entrance exam. Well, yeah, Lieutenant, but that's the thing about series that... Uh, series or, I don't know, stories like that, the most important part is the ending. Because they keep raising a lot of questions, and if they can't answer it properly, in my opinion, it's not worth anything. Again, same as Lost. I did the right thing, in my opinion, waiting until Lost. Like, the, a lot of people were speaking very, very highly of Lost. I was like, yeah, okay, but I'll wait until it's over to see if they can really wrap it up. And then they couldn't. And then everybody was super bummed out because of the season finale. Of Lost, and and I decided not to watch it because you know. What's your favorite ending of a movie or an ending that sticks out to you? Oof. I guess Seven is the first one to come to mind. 
Yeah. Seven is Nashville. I don't really, really remember the ending for Nashville. I remember enjoying it, but I can't feel because it's so, so many different narratives. I can't really remember everything in it. Uh, I remember enjoying it though in general, and I didn't watch my Holland Drive yet. But Seven is definitely the first one who stands out to me. I think it was one of the only or first and maybe only times I actually couldn't control myself and I yelled at the screen. Uh, I don't think it's ever happened to me with anything else, any other uh, movie or TV show. Oh, you have to watch Seven. You have to watch it. Fucking amazing. Anyhow, uh, I've talked enough. Back to the game. Normal faculty was hired and placed in charge of looking after the reserve department. The expense and exam fees for the reserve department are quite high compared to most high schools. Nevertheless, Hope Speak Academy received an endless stream of applicants. Hope Speak Academy was now available to talentless commoners, people who only cared about the brand. Let me know what you think about it when uh, when you watch it, Magic Harp. With this, Hope Speak Academy managed to amass sizable funds and began further research of talent. To create Hope Speak Academy's Ernest Winch, a genuine, a true genius who would become mankind's hope. Uh, about how, how many pages is it, Lieutenant? Uh, but just when they thought everything was going well, an unprecedented incident occurred. The incident that triggered the tragedy, the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. I won't be surprised if the reserve department uh, was involved in that, just to make it like their own undoing. That's right, it was the tragedy of Hope's Peak Academy. Hope's Peak Academy was crippled by this incident, and was forced to shut down without accomplishing anything. The end. Yeah, well, we already knew all of that pretty much from the first game. Almost, except the reserve department, I think. Huh? The ending was so sudden, like a manga that suddenly cancelled in the middle of its run. Plus, these phrases mentioned at the end of this. Sorry, manga. The tragedy, and the tragedy of Hope Speak Academy. These names are so melodramatic. There's no way these incidents really happened, right? Oh, but they did. 17 chapters. Some of the chapters are like 4 pages long. Oh, so yeah, I guess it's like a decent sized novel. Let's say around 100 pages, more or less. That should be an easy read. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll read it then. You to remember though. This manga only mentions the names, so I don't really know the details, but... You know, it'd just be a waste of time to wonder about things that don't make sense. More importantly, I learned something because of this manga. The reserve department. That department was only built to collect money. I was one of those reserve corps students, right? But hold on! Hmm, that's weird! Oh, you're here again. <laughs> ah, the thing that's weird is you, of course! Huh? Why did you forget that you were part of the reserve department? The Future Foundation only took away your school life memories, right? But you should have known even before you entered the school that you had no talent, right? So, I think it's weird that you actually forgot something like that, too! What do you want me to say? By the way... Hmm, based on my assumption... The Future Foundation must have wanted to hide the fact that you were one of those Reserve Corps students! I got it! Or you willingly seal those memories yourself! Huh? <laughs> you wanted to be confident in yourself, so you wanted to forget everything that embarrassed you! You know, when humans experience trauma, sometimes they erase their memories of what happened! <laughs> It happens pretty often! Not that I know anything about that, though! Are you saying it's my fault that I forgot? That's not it. Come on! When things get inconvenient, you always get angry and try to brush it off. Well, that's expected of a reserve course student. Damn it. What the heck? Oh, we got truth bullets now. Okay, interesting. There's, so there will be another trial, apparently. Okay, I guess there's no sense in looking at everything else around here. 
Uh, there might be a Monokuma doll hiding around here, but I definitely don't see it. Whoa, did the screen just jump? Or did I... That was weird. A bunch of wooden blocks here. Each of them has a traditional looking wood block key sticking out of them. I guess they're just for show. There's nothing in particular that looks like a clue. Well, obviously nothing in here is probably going to be a clue, so... Let's just keep going. Probably we'll get to another floor. That's my guess. Oh no, old building took four. So we're still here. Okay, so it wasn't only me at least. Oh, Kazuichi! What's going on? This hallway, it's kind of creepy. I can't go to places that I would be able to go. It's like some rule is being enforced for no reason. <laughs> It's like there's an invisible wall or something. Okay. So they are aware of invisible walls, maybe. Oh, there we go. That's... We weren't here earlier, I think. Shitty me, are you okay? Yeah, it's okay. Oh, we were already here. This is the violin classroom. Okay, I guess we'll go with this book again. This is another manga. It's laying on top of the desk. Um, this one is... Manga for Morons, The Tragedy of Host Peak Academy. Huh. Wasn't the tragedy of Host Peak Academy mentioned in that other manga too? It's why Host Peak Academy went bankrupt, and... It was the trigger for the biggest, most tragic, most awful event in human history. If I read this manga, will I be able to learn a little more about that incident? Let's see. Oh, pretty intense. I took the manga from the desk and started flipping through the pages to see what I could learn about the event known as the Tragedy of Hope's Week Academy. The story made heavy use of outdated, stylized drawings depicting characters solving mysteries. What's written here is... As the name suggests, the tragedy of Hope Speak Academy occurred at Hope Speak Academy. The key player in, the, in that event was a student named Izuru Kamukura. Wait, wasn't Izuru Kamukura the headmaster of Hope Speak Academy? Or at least that's what it said in the funhouse, right? Or it was something similar. No, I'm pretty sure it was Izuru Kamukura. I remember even chairs told me to remember that name. Try to think why his portrait would be in there, which I still don't know. Izuru, Izuru was a genius who, known as a symbol of hope. Uh, hope speak, yeah. And well, the the portrait said he was the founder of Hope Speak Academy and depicted him as an old man. But I don't know. Maybe there's some time traveling bullshit in this game too. Uh, hope Speak Academy used all their resources to develop him. Supposedly, Izuru was a genius among geniuses, and possessed various talents. Building superior talent for the hope of mankind, the Academy referred to Izuru as... The Ultimate Hope. To protect such rare talent, the Academy completely concealed all evidence of Izuru's origin and origins and identity. Because of that, most of the students at the Academy were completely unaware of Izuru's existence. But Izuru, who is known as the symbol of hope, was responsible for a horrible incident. Thirteen students of Hope Speak Academy's student council, among the Academy's best and brightest, were brutally murdered by Izuru. Yeah, it happened in a room just uh, next to here. Just uh, on this floor, if I remember right. However, that incident did not end there. The Academy tried to protect Izuru's superior talent and concealed the incident as though it never happened. However, a certain student began working in secret to use that incident to their advantage. That student uncovered what the Academy did, and by making that knowledge public, which I think maybe might be Hajime will discover, it stoked the fires of reserve corps student who had long been dissatisfied with how they'd been treated. The uprising began, and that heralded Hope Speak Academy's destruction. This is the entirety of the tragedy of Hope Speak Academy. Eventually, the incident would lead to that horrifying, devastating incident. 
Oh, they actually show it in the anime? That's pretty cool, actually. Always wondered. I wonder how I killed him, too. Them, I mean. The incident that would be known as the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Work cited, Danganronpa Zero. Oh, I see. So Danganronpa Zero explains what happened during that during Zero's time or something. <coughs> With a heavy sigh, I closed the manga. Am I supposed to believe this? There's no way 13 people were killed at Hope Speak Academy. <laughs> what irony! For a genius known as the ultimate hope to cause such a gruesome incident! A town like this is too, like that is too regal for society! It's like trying to buy juice with a bar of gold! <laughs> you should be lucky that you're incompetent! Damn it. He always has to lead up to something offensive. He seriously pisses me off. But, ultimate hope. Nagino mentioned that before too. But it looks like it means something completely different here. Maybe the person we were in Chapter Zero was Izuru or something? Maybe he survived? And he started the Council of Despair or whatever that Junko was part of? I don't know. Too many options. What Nagino said was the true meaning of hope. For Izuru, hope simply means talent. Wasn't Makoto the ultimate hope? Well, sorta. He was the ultimate lucky student. In the end, they call him the ultimate hope, but that wasn't official or anything. It was just, it was basically like a, a knight in shining armor moment. He said something about having thoughts, yeah, and being bored about everything, and he was very, uh, he was ve acting very elitist, and that's something I would expect of, like, Izuru, the way they're talking about him here. A person who was super a genius, a genius among geniuses, who ended up murdering other geniuses. That just uh, that fits. I wouldn't be surprised if Izuru is behind all of this somehow. Why? I don't know. Maybe he just went insane, or he came to some uh, revelation. Anyhow, uh, Makoto being the ultimate hope. I don't think that was serious. I think that was just like uh, because he led the final assault with everybody else in the final trial. They called him the. They said he became the ultimate hope, but it wasn't. I don't think uh, it was legit. More importantly, a genius who possesses various talents. I wish they'd given me one of those talents so I didn't have to be in the reserve department. That's right, the reserve department. Here, it said that the reserve corps students in the reserve department began uprising. Yeah, pretty much Magic Carp. What about me? Was I a participant too? You were probably the leader, Hajime. No, that's not possible. There's no way. I have no reason to do something like that. You know what? I wouldn't even be uh, surprised if, like, the Future Foundation, again, assuming they're the good guys and they're made by, like, survivors of Hope Speak uh, Academy students, uh, did the whole island thing just for Hajime. Just to bring in, like, plenty of students. Uh, with Hajime, who started everything bad and is considered, I guess, like something very taboo or evil uh, or cursed, uh, just so they could all be friends together and to turn uh, Hajime into hope instead of despair, instead of the trigger for the the most tragic tragedy, whatever, um, to like mind wash him or to like show that he could be good too. I don't know, something like that. I wouldn't be surprised if it would would be something kind of like that. Anyway, I've learned about the tragedy of Hope's Peak Academy, but the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history is a far worse incident, right? What kind of incident was it? Who's this other student that isn't Izuru? A certain student who secretly used the incident to their advantage. Who is that? This incident is really messed up, but all it's doing is raising more questions. Sounds familiar? The mysteries just keep piling up. Okay, and again, we don't have anything else around here, right? No Monokuma dolls. <laughs> That's a good one, Vegeta. Odd that it didn't ask me if I want to exit. 
Uh, okay, so we can't go up here. Let me check again on my little, uh, shitty view. There we go. Okay, what other rooms might be open here? There we go. Oh no, it's gray, so that means... Oh, we can then. Raw or War? We never knew. In the first game, either. But this was one of the most important rooms in the first game. If I remember right. What the hell is with this room? It's freaking cold in here! It's like I'm in a freezer or something. If we just stand still, I might end up freezing to death. I should hurry up and investigate so I can get out of here already. Anything? Oh, there we go. There he is. Hiding under the table. I've just two more. Found. Yeah, the tarp and everything. I remember this. Anyhow. Oh, that looks weird. There's another manga just laying around here. This time the title is Manga for Morons, the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. I knew it. The next one would obviously be about this incident. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history, huh? I'm getting tired of saying that. Of course there was an acronym. Just what was that incident really all about? It might turn out to be something lame. Well, not really. I thought so too in the first game, but and, but it turns out to really be the most awful, most terrible incident in human history. I flipped through the pages of the manga and hoped that I was right. Whoa, that's a good cover. Actually, that's a pretty cool drawing. A story about creepily drawn characters who get involved in such horrifying incidents. Just called the fuckery? That's actually a pretty good name. An incident known as the fuckery. Is this drawn so grotesquely because the incident itself is that grotesque? Uh, probably. That would be uh, artistic input, right there. Anyway, the beginning of this creepy manga starts with this sentence. The tragedy of Hope's Peak Academy was simply the trigger. At first, the uprising by the Reserve Corps students that triggered the that tri that triggered the, f the fuckery was initially hoped to be resolved quickly, but the situation continued to escalate to dangerous extremes. The movement started spreading. <sighs> triggered. <laughs> uh, the movement started spreading all over the internet and fostered the thriving online community. What is manga? Is it just like a book or comic book or something? It's a Japanese comic book. Uh, Duncan, or uh, I, sh I should say an Eastern comic book. Uh, the community was not limited to students, and people of various races and nations began joining in. But the movement was not. Stop trying conf to confuse me, uh, Bat. But the movement was not confined to the internet and began spreading and eroding to the real, eroding the real world. World, uh, what's with me? Uh, when the movement started, it was indistinguishable from any other demonstration inspired by social unrest. It's anime in a book form, pretty much, yeah. But as it spread across the world, certain abnormalities soon came to light. Uh, but then it was too late. By then it was too late. The ends and the means had vanished, uh, and wanton destruction began, became their only goal. The strong butchered the weak. The weak killed the weakest among them. And soon the weak formed factions to brutally murder the strong. As the violence and death continued to spread, the shock of their actions began to disappear. As if the era was regressing to more uncivilized times, when senseless, when senseless deaths were the norm. The media was oversaturated with deaths to the point where people would watch them while enjoying a meal. Which spoiler alert is what is what actually is the the killing school life and the killing uh, vacation or whatever Sk killing school trip is all about. The media was oversaturated with threats to oh yeah, while enjoying a meal. Uh, by the time the world realized what it had become, it was too late to stop what had happened. A feeling of immense despair began spreading and eventually engulfed the world. Acts of terrorism with coup d'etats uh, began 
occurring around the world, a war met waged in the name of despair. A war fought not for principles, religion, or personal gain, just war. Pure, pure war. And because of that, there was no way to resolve it. How could a movement started by high school students, by, by high school students, progress to such a hopeless scenario? The only explanation is the existence of a certain organization devoted to a certain student who influenced Hope Speak, Hope Speak Academy. A group called Ultimate Despair. Instead of using Hope Speak Academy's talents for the sake of mankind's hope, they use them for the sake of mankind's despair. Key members of society use their influence to brainwash the masses in order to spread despair. Tech-savvy computer programmers wrote software to spread despair. The powerful and influential created new values and morals to spread despair. And with this, they created the tragedy, or the fuckery. As long as ultimate despair exists, the despair engulfing the world will never end. The fuckery will never end. My heart was racing in my chest, but my body felt ice cold. And it wasn't because I was freezing in this room. The biggest, most, the fuckery. This is definitely all made up. I mean, if this is really true, <clears throat> then what's happening in the outside world? There is no outside world. Basically. My family, my friends, the convenience store I frequent, the nearby bookstore, my favorite restaurant, all gone. All dead. What's happened to them? No way! Hey, hey! Are you seriously yelling at a manga? How crazy are you? Who would enjoy reading something like this? Wah -wah? Oh my! You don't like manga? Ooh. A high school student who doesn't like manga is like an office lady who doesn't I like to eat candy! Enough! What is this messed up manga? <laughs> I thought you'd obviously know about such a horrible event that destroyed the world, but... For you not to remember that! Such despair... That's the Future Foundation's fault though! Thanks to them stealing your school memories! The incident that happened during that period has been completely removed from your brains! This incident really happened? And I actually forgot about it? There's no way that's possible. What are you saying? How many times do I have to tell you? All the clues here are real! Hello. Please understand, I'm rooting for you! If you don't learn about the full extent of the outside world, you guys will suffer for it! <laughs> I just want to help you guys, so you can live well-adjusted lives in the outside world! I see, so that's how it is. That's what he meant by, by what he said at the beginning. Well, as that- well, it, it, it happened like a half hour ago, we were all there, come on. He's conflicted, he wants us to learn about the outside uh, world, so we'll be prepared, supposedly. He's trying to make us feel despair toward the outside world, so we'll want to stay on this island. But there's no way I'm going to do what he wants. Despair like that simply can't exist. The outside world should be filled with hope. Just like now. Perhaps... No. That's definitely it. Uh, the truth bullets. Whether or not this incident really happened, when the world is this ultimate despair group? If they devoted to a certain student who guided Hope Speak Academy to its destruction, are they connected to both the tragedy and the tragedy of Hope Speak Academy? Plus, that organization isn't just one person, but a group of people. But if they're known as ultimate despair, they're high school students, right? Well, if they were actually be able to do it, then I guess that's why they call them they were called ultimates. Then are the killings we're involved in connected to them as well? 
it's no use. I'm going to freeze to death. I'm at my limit. I need to get out of here. Shivering, I ran out of the freezing room. Phew, that was close. I nearly froze to death. So where should I go next? You know, I got another theory suddenly. It could be that Backcountry was right, or that rather Magikarp, Magikarp, Magikarp was right. Uh, almost a Magic Country, um, and that that's the Lock and Slug Ray, right? And that Nagido is kind of going insane. I might as well say no water in here. Nagido is kind of going insane, uh, in the sense that, well, what I think is that maybe he is actually here, and this is just his rain, like, really, memories clashing or something, or memories starting to float, like, his memory having to, uh, to deal and respond to, uh, memories, uh, returning. Yes, I, I said Hajime, I meant Hajime, sorry. Sorry, I, I guess I said Nagido, I meant Hajime. So that his memories are starting to return or something, or like there's just a an overload in his brain, like the fat, like supposedly he went through like more extensive uh, memory removal, right? Because according to Manakuma, he remembers even less than the others. So uh, maybe that's why he was responding in such a manner. Maybe I don't know, but again, I'm really doing the game's job for it, uh, coming up with explanations. But we'll see. Despair. Now oh, this sounds more like the classrooms in the, in the first game. No, I should ignore it. I'm just going to pretend I didn't see him. But uh, where's the doll, though? No doll. I don't want to put the doll anywhere. Oh well. I'll just say it. Well, at least talk about it. Would have went inside this room. That bastard bear was here suddenly. He keeps glancing at me. I wonder why. Huh. <laughs> it's gonna be shitty either way. Damn right. So I'll let you handle it. There's no way I'm gonna deal with that idiot. I don't wanna do that either. And there's nothing here, so I guess we'll just have to uh, talk to Monokuma anyhow. Maya. Why, hello, Hajime! I hope you're doing pleasingly well! Are you pleasingly well? You're pleasingly well, right? What are you doing here? No, no! Well, there was another thing I needed to tell you on this floor. <laughs> I got bored of drawing manga. Can you forgive me for telling you by word of mouth? Aw, oh, shit, I have to do Monokuma's voice for like 10 minutes now. You should have done that from the beginning. I didn't want to read your manga in the first place. My high school student who doesn't like manga is like a sumo wrestler who doesn't like eating hot pots! I'm getting really fed up with your babbling. Hurry up. What did you need to tell me? <laughs> it's about that key piece of information you've been waiting so long for! What? Surprise! It's about ultimate despair! Huh? Hmm. Ahem. Even though the term ultimate despair refers to a group these days. What are hot pots? Uh, maybe literally hot pots? Water? Actually. Maybe it's a bad translation of like hot pockets or something? I mean. <laughs> it was originally the title for a high school girl who was the most powerful, evil, and Third person alive! Probably Junko. A uh, high school girl? Yes, indeed! Lady! Junko Enoshima! Yep. Junko Enoshima? Hey, um. He, Hot Pots refers to several East Asian varieties of stew consisting of shimmering metal pot of stock uh, at the center of the dining table. Oh, cool. As the former ultimate despair, she created a despair brimming with charm and humor. And created the ultimate despairs. 
there was one really horrible person in that group. Don't fuck with me. Hold on a sec. I don't know what the ultimate despairs are, but it's not that easy to form an organization. There's no way people would join some fucked up organization created by a high school girl. Unless all of them were high school students too. Unbelievable. Humans who are obsessed with their philosophy have an uncanny power to attract others. It's a trait shared by many famous leaders throughout history, right? There's nothing strange about it. He's got a point, actually. Hey, um... That holds true for Lady Junko. With her charis charismatic ability to attract people, even she influenced those in the highest echelons of power. Her connections were the main reason that incident became the tragedy in the first place. So she even recruited people who would have been in a position to neutralize the threat? Huh? Then what was their purpose? Huh? What? Well, like I said, why did they cause the incident? It doesn't even make sense. They had a, pers a purpose, right? There's no way they do what they did without any purpose. Hey, um... It was Junko and Oshima's despair! Well, at least we know Junko's dead, right? She's supposed to be. So that's like probably the biggest blow to the ultimate despair that we could have done. Huh? For Junko and Oshima, despair isn't about purpose, a set of principles, a way of life, or an instinct. Despair is what defines Junko and Oshima as Junko and Oshima. What are you saying? <laughs> I'm a stuffed plushie! Hajime is a human! It's exactly like that! <laughs> Junko and Junko- Sorry. Junko and is so- Is full of so much despair That she's truly hopeless! Living, dying, eating, loving For her, everything is despair! What the hell? With her overwhelming force of personality, Junko recruited the ultimate despairs one by one. She controlled their despair by taking advantage of their love, hate, grudges, anything really. Junko's despair is far more dreadful than any other. That idea has been slammed right into their minds. <laughs> oh, sorry, I gotta get a drink of water, this voice. So, the ultimate despairs who had been recruited became nothing more than Junko's limbs! All despair, whether it was their own or anyone else's, was dedicated to Junko and Oshima. Like believers making offerings to their god! Like a mother providing food to her children! They dedicated all despair they could escape from so they could esca escape from despair, all in Junko and Oshima's name. For example, they kill their families and friends, and even destroy their bodies through relentless mutilation. And to hopelessly top it off, they completely believed it was something that they had to do. There's no way something that crazy is possible. Oh, but it is. Well, what? Do you know about the final days of the Reserve Corps students during the tragedy of Hope Speak Academy? Final days? In other words... Junko has the power to change people's values. This is also true of famous people throughout history. Hey, what do you mean final days? What happened to the reserve department? Of course! They fulfilled their role as disposable limbs. They believed in what they needed to do. So the reserve department was... Were they the ultimate despairs? <laughs> and so, the 2,357 students of the reserve department all committed mass suicide! 
mass suicide. What you say? All two thousand five three hundred fifty seven students. <laughs> Oops, it wasn't all of them. One person was excluded. One person was excluded? Huh? Is that me? Damn it. I don't believe it. There's no way I can believe this. Ultimate Despair. Junko Inoshima. Uh, guest, actually, I have a, a question. I know that in the first anime of Danganronpa, like, it shows the trials, but it doesn't show the, like, the whole reasoning and the investigation, so there's a lot of plot left out. Uh, but in the in this anime, because it, it also tells the story of uh, the second game, right? Of this game. Uh, does it show part of the investigation or the trials more in depth, so you can get part of like more more of the drama and the uh, twists and stuff like that, or is it really straightforward? Ultimate despair, Junko in Oshima. <laughs> it doesn't. Sorry, it doesn't scare me at all. I mean, bastard. Junko in Oshima is already dead. How do you know that? Huh? I mean, he's right, but how does he know that? Doesn't show the story of this game, it just shows what happens before this game and before the first game. Oh. I thought it also shows what what's going on after this game. Huh, interesting. And that's supposed to answer all the questions? That's weird. Huh? Ultimate despair has been added. Reserve department. I guess we're done here then. What? No, 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 no. Hey. No, it's okay. Okay. Uh. Oh, we're done. Okay. Jinpei Noshima is already dead. What does that mean? Why does Fuhiko know about that? Oh, we need to ask him. Hey, Fuhiko. Is it true what you said? Junko Inoshima is really dead? Huh? What? You didn't see? There was a book called Manga for Morons Killing School Life in that bloody classroom. A bloody classroom? No, wait, what was that you said about the killing school life? Like the killings we were involved in. Like the killings we were involved in, they were killings that happened in the Hope Speak Academy. As I recall, the mastermind took her own life because the remaining students worked together to defeat her. Well, yeah. Yeah, that's what it says. The killing school life ended up failing in the end. As a result, the six students who survived managed to escape from the academy. Hey. So wait, which one? So the Despair arc... Does it show the story of this game? What happens before this game and before? So the Despair arc is what? So Future arc is what happens after this game. Despair arc is what? It's it, what happens before the second game? Or before the first game? Or like both technically. Anyway. For a manga about the killing school life, it was drawn with a lot of silly images and dumb gags. According to that, the mastermind behind the failed killing school life was Junko Inoshima. The mastermind took her own life? Which means Junko Inoshima is dead. Despair is before both. Oh, so nothing explains what happens between them except maybe Despair Girls? Like... It turns out that the killing school life was part of that whole fuckery incident. Junko took away the memories of former students of Hope's Peak Academy and forced them to kill each other. Former students of Hope's Peak Academy? And she took away their memories? That just like us. But Despair Girls... Does Despair Girls actually uh, explain shit? Or is it just like a weird filler? Apparently the whole thing was being filmed by surveillance cameras and broadcast worldwide. <laughs> There's a limit to being a cruel asshole. The surveillance cameras were broadcasting the whole thing? Huh. 
students of Hope Speak Academy are widely known as symbols of hope. Spare Girls lets you see how the Otter world was. Oh, that's kind of cool, actually. By forcing people to watch these symbols of hope kill each other for the sake of survival. You were trying to fill everyone who watched the broadcast with despair all at once. It's not really that relevant to the anime at the moment. You could get by with just watching the ending on YouTube. The ending to Despair Girls, you mean? They made a Despair Girl episode in the anime and it was rushed garbage. Oh, I see. That's messed up. Huh. But that messed up plan was stopped. Junko and Oshima failed. Uh, okay. I guess I'll try and remember that, Brigitte. Junko lost to the students she placed in her trap. And after being overcome by the despair she created. Hmm. She took her own life. Then, Junko is no more. Hmm. No matter how horrible she was, there's no reason to fear someone who's dead. Whether Monokuma's story is true or not doesn't matter. Bastard. Junko Inoshima isn't alive anymore! Then... Who is our enemy? If Junko Inoshima is already dead, are the rest of the ultimate despairs behind this? Are the followers of Junko carrying out her will? That's the only thing I can think of. I mean, the killings were involved in resemble the, that killing school life. <laughs> well, I don't know who the hell is imitating Junko and making us go through this, but... <laughs> An imitation is just that. An imitation. No shit! If the students from Hope Speak Academy stop the real deal, there's no way we'll lose to some fake. But if this really is an imitation, are those surve surveillance cameras the same too? The cameras all over Jabberwock Island. Are they broadcasting to someone, just like the surveillance cameras during the killing school life? Most likely. Add it to the truth boards. Man, Hajime, you totally know about that story, huh? What? What? Do you have a problem with that? Well. I really wanted you to read the manga version since I took the time to draw it! What are you gonna do? Oh well, I'll just raise the flag! Flag? What do you mean, raise the flag? What's gonna happen if you do that? Ooh, One step at a time! You're getting closer to clearing my character route! You're not making sense again. Well now! Now then! I'll give you guys my all! I'll, let you, I'll tell you everything I know, including information on the outside and the inside. Yeah I'll raise them flags like crazy! Here? Right now? Is that the next thing, or is it in another... Oh dear. Huh? It, it changed to a different hallway again. It's so sudden. What's going on? What's going on to make something like this happen? No, I've already decided that I'm not going to be surprised. That's right, there's no time for me to be surprised by something like this. Okay, so yeah, that was weird. We're in the first fl fourth floor now. Uh, but I guess that's it for now. So, uh, that's it for today. We got a lot of text, a lot of uh, lore and info today. And I can't wait to finish it. I'm guessing next uh, stream will also be a trial, the really the real final trial. Uh, maybe we'll get to it. We'll see. Uh, until then, whoops. Until then, uh, thanks everybody for watching. Hope you enjoyed the stream uh, as much as I did, at least. Uh, like and comment and subscribe uh, if you enjoyed the stream. Please, uh, you can follow me on Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, and Steam, and that way you get you can watch my past broadcasts. And oh, it's so adorable. Look at that little shitty me. Um, you can watch past broadcast and get notifications when I'm starting to stream or if there's a change of schedule, uh, delay, cancellation, surprise stream, anything like that. 
And reminder about the poll, there's a link on my Twitch page where you can choose uh, what game I'm going to play next. Last time I looked, it was a tie between Police Knots and Metal Gear Solid. So you can choose them, you can choose something else, you can request something else. Uh, so that's it for now. Uh, see you guys tomorrow. I'll be back tomorrow, same time as today, and we'll hopefully bust this thing wide open. So, Marco.